If y'all don't mind, follow my socials. Alright, let's get into the video. But what's good is you'll do follow back with you. Still guys making a home. The best rec center in my opinion. The best rec power forward in my opinion. Let's get right into it. So you want to go with center position and as you can see on the screen. And then you want to go with the, um, not this pie chart. You want to go with the, um, the red and blue pie chart that you see right here. Which I want to go to right here. And then, um, for the physical pie chart, um, let's see here. You want to go with the, um, you can go with the, uh, the vert and speed or the balance pie chart. And then, um, it is honestly no matter you can go with either one but personally for me or personally for some people they might want to go with the speed invert and you'll see why in a minute so you want to max out the max out all the finishing besides the close shot it's right there you want up the free throw to 66 right there to up all the playmaking besides the bounty you get 12 max out the interior defense and up max out the block rebounding and then the loud quickness and steal up to right there to get 23 and then you want to go with um also, I can go burly, build, maybe even define, compact if you'd like, you know, see, it doesn't matter. But yeah, that's personally the ones I would probably recommend. And let's get into the height. Now, for the height, you want to go up to 6 foot 9, and then after you go 6 foot 9, the weight. Now, if you're going with the unbalanced pie chart, I think you would want to go up to about mm, 279 pounds. I think that's what you would go if you were going with the balanced pie chart. I think if you were going with the bird pie chart, um, the weight you can probably put up to about, um, and let's see, let's see, um, you can put the weight up to about 193, 94, maybe, maybe 194, 193 around that range, but um, let's see, yeah, right here about 194 pounds if you're going to some, the um, the speed of bird pie chart, I think that's what you will have to go to, I think, and then after that, you want to go with the wingspan. And then now for the wingspan, you want to max out all the way. Now you have a 94 driver dunk, which gives you all the contact dunks. Now, unfortunately, this build is not 6 foot 10, so you can't get those standard dunks, but at the same time, you still be able to get some decent dunks out. And then defense is still defense, you can, decent. You can get some steals, interceptions. You can keep up with guards with a 72 lateral quickness, and you can have a 90 block and an 88 rebound, so you'll be able to just be crazy. So, um, yeah, um, this build is pretty nice for the rec program or anything, honestly. You can use this for XP grinding. And honestly, personally for me, it honestly don't matter. If you're more of a park type of player or you just want to go look at some fun dunks, go slash and take. But personally, if you want to be more like in a rec or more competitive program type setting, you want to go with either rim or um, glass, personally glass though. And here you go, glass clean finisher, the Russell Cook Bell Allen. Let's get to the badges. And then um, for the finishing, go um let's see you can go finish finisher all of fame if you like drop separate let me just take up um pro touch maybe not nah, pro touch you're not gonna do hooks you can go push riser and post spin maybe and you probably take off fields to go back down or probably take back down so we throw like lobs here or put back or something like that maybe even rise up and then you can go slippery off ball for the shooter you're not really gonna be shooting on this build the only thing you're gonna be shooting is free throws since it's the record pro m and then you want to go with this right here you know, this right here right here we could probably take it off with our own like glue hands and brake starter if you like and now for the defense you can put some badges on silver but also you want to throw these three right here on and the reason why i put all these badges as you see right here on bronze is to give a more all-around like feeling of the build and make it more like be able to guard everybody and be able to still defend everybody at a good rate and be able to get interceptions and steals and stuff like that at the setting but you can probably if you like you can probably throw those badges on silver take them off take them Take them off, put some of the badges on silver, and um, yeah, that's up to you though. This is your build though, and yeah, that's gonna be a video. Like, subscribe, publication, and I'm out. Peace.